Hey Aries, welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. This is going to be a love reading for the middle of July for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. If you have your Venus placement as Aries, I always do say there could be a couple messages in this video that do resonate and help you. Thank you for clicking on this video. All right, I do appreciate it. We are in cancer season, so if you have any cancer friends, children, relatives, parents, happy birthday for me to you. And we are in a massive retrograde season, so I would say take it easy, guys. And let's kick off your Celtic spread. Okay, Aries. So the first card that flew out for your love reading is the Tower card, Scorpio. Uh, definitely could be with a Scorpio here, I feel. Okay. Let's see the rest of your cards for the middle half of July. And if you have been watching me for a while now, you already know I am intuitive. I am not just doing this for a skill. I am intuitive. It is a gift of mine. So I will place the cards where I need to, where I feel like I need to put them, okay? Not very formal sometimes. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> for you for you guys right now, there's lots of messages here already, so I just want to get to the spread. All right, we got the tower, ace of swords. Wow, five of swords. Okay, so red flag already. So you have two you have a lot of uh, sword cards here, okay? Sword is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are a fire sign, Aries. So this could definitely be some kind of opposing force with a water sign or an air sign. That's what I'm seeing so far, okay? Especially fire. Uh, we have the sun card in your environment. Hopes and fears is magician. So it looks like you guys are still invested in somebody or a situation that you've you've been in for quite some time now okay for majority of you you may even love this person okay especially if you're married i expect you to love your love your spouse but if you're not married then and you're just dating or talking to the person you could still be in love without being in married without being married yet so i do feel that for a lot of you guys you are either you either just fell in love or you've been in love with this person for a while now and it's been like hush hush a secret very unusual here hmm okay let's see so what is the final card for aries then i'm gonna pull three cards for you guys to my favorite tarot deck hmm okay the energy is very very um quick so as I'm shuffling the cards, Aries, what I feel is that a lot of you guys are dismissing your feelings, okay? You have so many feelings for this person, but you keep dismissing it. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is your final card, and the bottom of the deck is Eight of Wands upright. So, like I just said, I'm shuffling the cards, and from the energy of the cards what I feel that it means for you guys is that you'll want to say something you you want to connect like you want something to happen here but you're dismissing it okay and if this is not you this is definitely the other person so I feel that for both of you um there's emotion here, okay? Of course, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, but in general, for the most part, I feel that there is still emotion on both sides. Both of you care. Both of you um, are feeling sad over what happened. Both of you guys are wanting to pick up the pieces and get the ship and the ball rolling here but it's just not happening for some reason um and that could really be due to a divorce that could be due to a breakup okay or just honestly loss of communication i feel that for a lot of you male aries is that i'm that i'm reading for you ran away you ran you ran away from the connection you were afraid of this person you were afraid of being in love um that's coming up here for some reason so like you want the person but yet you're running away and if, and if and if it's not you it's them like they want you aries but they're running away so why they why why is the connection hmm why is the connection up in the air if you guys both love each other okay so i do feel that somebody in some way um has let go like verbally i don't think emotionally whoever this is either you or the other person i don't feel like somebody has let this go entirely 
No, not at all. But the death card and the hierophant card is really for those people out here that are that were married. Okay, like seriously. So this definitely could be um, the father of your child or children if you have more than one kid. Um, or if I'm reading for male Aries, same thing. You know, your wife, like, like legally. Okay, document wise, it's over. But you're still, you're still like reminiscing. You're still feeling like the world's come to an end. Even if this has happened years ago, for a couple of you, a couple of you, I'm reading for. Because there's different Aries is here, but in general, the energy is that emotionally you're still invested. If it's not you, it's somebody else. Now, we have another Scorpio card here. The death card, number 13, is Scorpio. Okay, so you have Scorpio showing up twice here. Scorpio, Scorpio. Queen of Cups is also a card known for all the water signs cancer pisces scorpio so i really feel that for a majority of you you are in a relationship with a fellow fire sign um mainly leo or you're with a scorpio but could be any water sign or anybody else but so far here i'm seeing scorpio leo aries like yourself and taurus but you are hoping for this to get back to good to good um to a good standing okay for a lot of you you're still wanting this person to come back or they're wanting you to come back um once again i feel it's both of you i feel that both of you are running away from this connection um because definitely i see her in the in the in the far past there definitely could have been a miss a big misunderstanding could have been cheating could have been stealing money could have been lying about where you were at night um not replying back to text messages not calling the person back which to them is disrespectful or of course to you if this happened to you it felt disrespectful like how could this person tell me they love me and then leave my message on read for days weeks months maybe even a year for a couple of you guys out here and it hurts like hell it's like how can this person do this to me i i invested so much ten of pentacles upright I invested so much in this person. I ate of wands, communicated day and night, waiting for you to come back. And, and somebody did not come back. Somebody did not come back. So the dealio is that middle of July, the tower, if not already, has fallen. Okay. The tower needs to fall Aries because something here is foul. Something here is certainly miscalculated. Okay. Somebody has got something mixed up and, um, I feel that somebody's perception of the other person is just totally wrong. Like just just flat out wrong. Somebody could think somebody here is a cheater, is is like scum of the earth, but in reality they're not. They're they're the exact they're the exact opposite. So that to me screams miscommunication. Miscommunication about something that both of you for both of you, it's like a trigger. It, it triggers your emotions. It triggers this passion in you to, to lash out and get angry. Um, or it did in the past, of course. But something definitely at that moment in time made the tower fall. So if this hasn't happened already, I would say watch out for lashing out. I would say be careful of getting in the tip for tat with this person. I believe I read for Sagittarius, Capricorn, and um, Leo... And they had a similar thing here where there was so many people and Virgo, I should say, people around them that keep poking the bear. And, you know, the more you keep poking the bear is the more the bear at some point, maybe not immediately, but at some point that bear is going to yell back or, 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 or bite that person's arm off or bite the other person's bear off if it's a bear fighting a bear. And there's going to be something going down. There's going to be a showdown. So that's what's happened here is... 
you know, miscommunication for sure, eight of wands. And now you're in a current state or you're going to be in a current state most most likely where there's the ace of swords involved. So needing clarity, um, four of swords. So you see how there's all swords here. So swords is like cutting through the, the garbage. So you have lots of energy here of needing to cut through something or someone's needing to cut through something to see the heart, to see your heart. Because I feel that somebody here is 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 like showing no mercy um libra had a similar thing as well like not showing any mercy like not wanting to compromise not wanting to talk things out it's like i'm done i'm done with you you can hit the door but in reality whoever's whoever's playing that game whoever's saying this to you or around you doesn't even mean that they still love you or you still love them or it goes both ways somebody here still cares so all this garbage about i'm hurt i'm leaving you it's not true it's an illusion because the person still loves you or you still love them that's what i see here your, your hope again is magician so you're hoping for a miracle you're hoping that this person comes back or they're hoping that you come back and say you know what i'll give it another try i will give it another try i'm willing to i'm willing to to forgive you i'm willing to invest with you your future card is ace of pentacles upright so this card is a clear indicator saying i am willing to go back to you i am willing but i my fear here is that whoever has walked away doesn't really have the kahunas to turn back around and say you know what i still care about you this could very well be you aries where you're blocking the emotion from flowing you're blocking the second chance okay but somebody here wants a second chance if you're married there's 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 i feel here that i'll pull i'll pull a card for the married ones so if the if so if the aries are married so for married for married Aries, uh, what what's their card, please? Okay, three of wands. So exactly, you're waiting for somebody to tell you something. High priestess. So wow, we. So you guys know that this person loves you, or you know that, or they know that they love you. You know, so, there's emotion here. Somebody knows something and they're not speaking up. They're not saying it. So if someone's going to play hide and go seek with their emotions, you know, if you're going to hide for so long, you may not be able to come back. The person may, they, you know, the person may give up seeking for you. If you're going to hide so much, whoever the person is that's hiding, if you're going to hide so much, the person may not even seek you to begin with. They may not even chase after you. So that's the only thing I see here bottom of the deck for pentacles so what i'm seeing here is that somebody somebody has pride and doesn't want to admit they're wrong like like straight up someone doesn't someone does not want to admit that they're wrong they're wrong for leaving you they're wrong for judging you like they're they, they don't want to own up to it and 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 that's gonna that that will end the relationship period because ten of swords is a nasty card the ten of swords is a card that says you know what i've been stabbed so many times that i'm not willing to get back up and get stabbed again if i am if i have one more sword in my back if i have one more sword in my back i know that i'm done for the breath will the oxygen will leave my lungs and i'm out of here I, I i'm i'm done i'm gone so whoever this is for if this is resonating for you the relationship is on life support the relationship is definitely in life support and if it's with a scorpio even more so because i'm a scorpio son and i could tell you right now that sometimes scorpios you know they're, they're they could be sweet as pie but once you cross them especially for the females as well there's really no turning back because they're deeply loyal you know queen of cups they're deeply loyal and it's like if you cross them if they're if they don't have i would say um cancer in their chart like like chances are they're they're gonna hold that in their space in their heart they're gonna they're gonna hold that animosity yeah they should forgive you but i'm saying that what i'm seeing here is a case where the person is holding on to the negativity and doesn't want to make any space to get back with you or if this is you you're not holding any space in your heart to get back with them so somebody so so we're playing hide and go seek we're playing hide and go seek and nothing's changing but somebody's in pain somebody got 10 swords in their back and 
you know, it's like, who's gonna, who's gonna step up? Who's gonna say that I'm sorry? Who's gonna say that I, I love you? It, no one? Okay, then the relationship will end. It's that simple. It's that simple. Let's do a custom spread. And I feel the energy from you, Aries, is very powerfully. So you want, to, you know, somebody wants change, but I think is really not willing to work for it. The pride, the ego, you know, the self-centeredness is all over this joint. And somebody doesn't want to give up their little, their little precious little uh, throne here. Somebody doesn't want to be able to bend, bend over and make it work. Somebody is full of pride here and someone's going to miss a big opportunity. I can say that right now. Someone's going to miss a big opportunity if they don't let go of this pride and run back to this person. I hope that for your end of July reading, um, I see a reunion here because that's what I think needs to be what needs to happen. But the cards are telling me, Aries, that somebody here has pride and is not going to is not letting it go. They don't want to they don't want to they don't want to stoop down to, to the emotional the emotional level. They're above that. Whoever this person is I'm reading for, um, like they're, they're above their emotions. They're, they're not even in tune with their emotions. So yeah, they miss you or yeah, you miss them. But somebody here doesn't want to do anything about it. It's all talk. It's no action. So yeah, if you don't act, if somebody doesn't act soon, this relationship is definitely over a thousand percent. I can see that right now. Let's see. Come on. Show us the cards. All right. So we got the Magician, Seven of Swords, the World card. Okay. You have lots of reversals here. There's reversals everywhere. Reversals everywhere. Oh, my God. We have a Scorpio card again. So Scorpio is definitely a topic of discussion here. So if you want to watch, if, if you feel like to watch a Scorpio video, I would definitely say watch that video. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So this, this, these two cards tell me everything I need to know. So basically, somebody invested enough. Somebody feels like they invested too much. Somebody feels like they, 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 um, they did too much already. And that's where the pride is. So there, this is two different people here. One person is full of pride and thinks that they've done all that they can do. And the other person, Five of Pentacles, is crying over spilt milk, lost, you know, longing for this person's company. So it's either or, okay? Or this could be somebody's split personality or sp not personality, I should say. Somebody's split um, behavior, you know? One moment they are uppity and don't want to talk to you the next they're crying at your door so this is really manipulative i don't like it at all so there's somebody here could be you could be you where you know you're 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 yo-yoing the person's emotions and right i can tell you right now it's not gonna work like for for middle half of july going to the end of july it's not gonna work so if you love somebody you want somebody tell them because this is all games this is all games and this is gonna get you nowhere absolutely nowhere so that's all i have for you heiresses okay i hope this video was pretty blunt straight to the point i know you guys like like it real okay i've done i've read for you guys before and i've seen the comments and you guys love when i keep it real and this was one of the realest videos i've ever made for you guys or any sign to be honest with you love y'all see you in the next video take care bye good luck